Dhanlakshmi Bank can breathe a sigh of relief now that the bank managed to move out of the prompt corrective action framework. And while that removes some of the restrictions on lending, it did take a lot of effort to shore up the coffers. Joining us now to talk a little bit more about the journey out of the PCA and what lies ahead for Dhan Lakshmi Bank in terms of growth potential is Ms. T. Lata. She's the MD and CEO at Dhan Lakshmi Bank. Uh, Ms. Lata, thanks very much for joining in. Let's talk about your journey out of the PCA now and what lies ahead. Obviously, uh, regulatory capital now kept aside. It's the growth capital that needs to get focused on. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, as far as uh, the Lakshmi Bank is concerned, yes, we are out of PCA after a gap of three and a half years. And uh, we are not in any of the risk threshold, which has been classified by the RBI to be under the PCA category. Yes, we are now focusing on a growth pattern. That is a major concentration for us to grow better and to show a much shore up our profits in the next coming years. That is a major target for us, along with the concentration on reduction of our NPA. There has been a quite an uphill task into coming to come out of N, uh, the PCA, but going forward, I think the bank is poised to reach greater heights and will definitely ensure that we do not ever slip into any of the parameters which will be watched by the Reserve Bank of India. So currently, if you can just, uh, for the benefit of all our viewers, highlight those key uh, levels that Dhanlakshmi Bank holds in terms of uh, the requisite capital, capital thresholds, your uh, tier one ratio, your CT one ratio, your capital to risk weighted ratios. If you could just highlight where you stand currently. Uh, Ma'am, as of December 18, which is the uh, reviewed results, which we have with us, the CRAR is about 13.52%. My CT one capital is about 10.26%. The asset coverage ratio is about 82.75%. The net NP of our bank is just 2.93%. And my tire one leverage ratio is 5.07%. The only thing we are slightly negative is on the return of assets, which is minus 0.10%, which hopefully will come turn positive in the coming quarter of March 19. And over the financial year 18, 19, I think we should be positive in the return on assets also. So what's what's the what's the the charted route going forward to meet those uh, growth targets that you've set for yourself now that you're out of the PCA? Yeah, Madam, the main target set for ourselves is uh, improvement in our total business, increase I mean increasing our liability products, particularly the CASA that is a current in the savings and in our retail uh, asset liability. I mean the asset products we would like to increase our assets like particularly our retail assets like housing loans, car loans going forward and go for slight branch expansion, not too much on a branch expansion, but on a limited branch expansion so that we are able to ensure that there is a growth of at least 10 to 12 percent in the next financial year of 1920. That's and that will definitely improve all our things because we are quite comfortable as far as our capital is concerned, though we may be going for fresh capital in the next year. But as of today, we are very comfortable with our, both our Tier 1 and Tier 2 capital. Uh, your loan book growth, which you mentioned, that is 10 to 12 percent. Is that correct? That, that is what you yeah, highlighted? 10 to 12 percent is what, what we are aiming at for the financial year 1920. All right. Uh, with regards to uh, you know, the current bad loans that are there in the system, uh, there are some uh, opinion that's floating around that it is still going to be a slightly more difficult path uh, for banks like yourself to come about bringing down the NPAs. What's the plan to contain? Uh, uh, Ma'am, I think uh, as far as uh, Dhan Lakshmi Bank is concerned, we have no such concern. If you see my net NPA is only 2.93% and we have a very good asset coverage provision of 82.75%. I do agree that yes, we do have some NPS, which will definitely be going down in the year 1920. We have already strengthened our monitoring team to ensure that there is good monitoring and our recovery team has also been geared up to ensure that the maximum recovery happens in the year both 1819 as well as 1920. So going forward, our net NPA ratio, we are planning to bring it down to below 2.5 percent for the year 1920. Mm. And, and what about the net interest margins? What's the target for that? Uh, the net interest margin is approximately around 2.9 today. We are planning to increase it to minimum 3 plus in the coming year. All right, got that. Uh, Islata, thanks very much for joining us. Really appreciate you yeah. taking out the time. Yeah. Thank is. you very much.